Just like every launch from any video card manufacturer out there, whether it be AMD or Nvidia, there's always a lot of hype, a lot of speculation, a lot of people saying things, but I find it really kind of funny with all the latest stuff that's going on about the RTX series of cards. I mean, a lot of people have made all these super duper negative videos and they've gotten a lot of hits on them for beating up on these guys because, you know, I guess everybody loves to see the big guy, you know, get kicked. So if you're making a video about kicking the big guy and even if it's just hype and not true, people seem to really like those kind of videos. And that's just kind of funny because I see those same video cards coming out now about RTX. But then on the other hand, I've seen some, you know, rumors saying that these cards are going to be, you know, 35 to 45% faster than a 10 ATI. And let's just stop right there, okay? How can you make a video, okay, and complain that it's 35 to 45% faster than a 10 ATI? I mean, how is that a bad thing? How is that something, you know, if that actually pans out to be true? And honestly, I think the cards are making their way to us. I believe that I will have my hands on a card very, very shortly. And then after that, we'll find out what the exact NDA is with the briefing and all that stuff. But I think very soon we'll actually have the real information for you. But if the new cards turn out to be that they're 35 to 45% faster, that's a large improvement huge improvement. Usually, like I've said, there's usually about 10 frames per second difference between a different model car, which means if you buy a 1060, you know, it'll be at, you know, 50 frames per second. You buy a 1070, it'll be at 60, you know, all the way up. That's kind of how it's been. It's not exact rocket science, but if you go back and you look at the testing between anybody testing cards over the years, you'll see that that really is a nice average point for it. So if you're going to be getting something that's going to be, you know, way higher than that, you're going to be getting like, you know, what, 30 to 40 more frames per second? Because I'm hearing stuff also that you're going to be able to do 4K at 90 frames per second with all the bells and whistles turned on. Now, if that turns out to be cool, I mean, and true, that's, excuse me, if that turns out to be true, that's going to be some really cool stuff, right? But still, we have all these sites out there basically saying, you know, oh, RTX is a scam, ray tracing is bull crap. I even saw a video where some guy said there's no such thing as ray tracing. I mean, honestly, how the fuck can you even say that? Like, there's no such thing as ray tracing? Like, ray tracing is pretty much the entire backbone of 3D and 3D gaming. Without a ray traced element and a skeleton and everything that you're working with, you're not even gonna be able to put the rest of the stuff on your image to build your image. So, I mean, I don't know how these people are coming out and saying this. Like I said in my other video, I was really expecting what RTX to do is pretty much just be able to have almost the same gameplay possibly as a 1080 Ti, but with all the bells and whistles completely turned on, hair works, everything, every every bell, whistle, and super thing that makes it more like you know reality you could turn on, but you wouldn't have to sacrifice anything whatsoever in frame rates. But now I'm hearing no, a performance could be 35 to 45 percent better. That's even more frame rate. So if we can play 4K and we can do that at 90 frames per second with everything turned on, I think that's a win. Now, I know that, you know, $1,200 for the top end card is a lot of money. Like I said, you can get a, you know, the lower model, it's like $1,000, still a little bit pricey, but think about this, we're talking about a really super duper powerful card here. I mean, this card is gonna be really powerful. If Turing technology and RTX turns out to be even um, close to what the rumors are actually saying they're going to be. I think that's a complete win all around. Now, I know it's pricey. That's what everybody is really going to bitch about is going to be the price. It's always going to be the, you know, the bitch about the price, but the latest technology always costs the most money. And even though on Tom's, you know, Tom's Hardware article, the guy talked about, you know, if you wait long enough for new technology to come down in price, you know, it gets cheaper and affordable. I mean, obviously when it's brand new technology, it's going to cost you, you know, an arm and a leg or a kidney, you know, but after it's been out a while, it's been in the market, the market's saturated, stuff gets lowered, new stuff comes out, then that new stuff will be the most expensive stuff. So honestly, buying bleeding edge technology stuff, unless you're a rich guy, it's probably never ever the best place to be. 
always buying probably last generation's best stuff is probably your best bet if you're going to be buying something because you're going to get all the benefits of all that stuff which was great just you know really literally usually like a year behind only now are we seeing these two-year delays before you know a video card gets released before it was like every six months every years now it's like every two years and with amd we're waiting and going okay well where is the new card coming but anyways it's really just strange how everybody points their gun at nvidia and just says oh all this bad stuff and if i say anything good about nvidia then obviously i'm a paid shill i'm paid for by nvidia i just laugh that shit off i've never gotten a cent from them ever it's just kind of funny that people say that so unless i really beat somebody up and drag them to the dirt and try to like do their dirty laundry and act like i'm the national Enquirer, then you don't want to hear it but i mean the bottom line is is everybody has an opinion and they're just like your butthole. They all smell. Everybody's opinion, including mine, should always be taken with a grain of salt because nobody has the answer to anything. And the way I view something, even the way I would taste a food or view something or smell something is different than how somebody else is going to be out there. So there's always going to be differences of opinion. I think that the new 2080 cards, the 2080 Ti, are going to be really nice cards. I think they're going to be pricey, yes. But if they come out to the market, and they're available, that will be what's actually better. What will really suck is if these cards come to market and then all of a sudden, all the miners buy these cards. And so all of a sudden, there's just no cards whatsoever again. So that means you're going to see a card that, you know, NVIDIA released to the market at $12.99 being sold at $26.99. And that's literally how the numbers were before. So if that happens, it's going to be a really crappy, crappy market. And if AMD doesn't release something really soon to counter that, it's going to really suck for gamers really bad, even worse than things are now, because you won't even be able to afford a video card. Now, will that completely kill PC gaming? No, it won't kill it, but it's sure going to bring PC, PC gaming down a notch. Um, most people will only be able to afford a PC that's a little bit better than a console, because otherwise you'll be spending an arm or a leg on a video card. I mean, you can go out and get a console. I've seen PlayStation 4 for cheap, man under like shit i think i've seen one for like 210 bucks the other day on, on ebay on one of their specials so you can get and you know one of the latest xboxes one of the latest playstation 4s and not even have to pay a lot of money so video card prices get too doggone much money well people are going to be shifting away from pc gaming and back on to consoles you know because it's just going to become unaffordable hopefully that never does happen Hopefully AMD comes up with a counter card that lowers the price point, forcing Intel, I mean, excuse me, forcing Nvidia to do the same thing. I don't know if it's going to happen. I hope it's going to happen. And if the cards really do, like I said, perform 35 to 45% better, how is that really a bad thing? Honestly, it seems like we've become really spoiled as gamers. We want instant gratification. We want the absolute best stuff in, in the world. We don't want to pay it. We want to be able to eat caviar but pay for a dollar McDonald's special. And that's just really not how things are. But it seems like that's a lot how the mentality is of these days of many people out there. They just expect so much from everything. If it doesn't give them absolutely everything they think it should have, even if that's not reality based, then that company sucks. And NVIDIA gets crapped on a lot about that particular stuff. They make enough mistakes of their own in business and do stuff that just seems a little bit like questionable, like all companies do because they're a corporation. And that's just what corporations do. Watch a movie. Corporations are generally evil. They're out for money. NVIDIA, even though I like working with them, they're easy to work with. They are, at the end of the day, a corporation. So hate corporations. Don't hate on any corporation in particular because they're pretty much all the same. NVIDIA, they make video cards for the gaming environment and obviously they want to try to make as much money as they can. Just like the gas company tries to charge you the most they can charge you for gas. Obviously, if people can pay that money for, for gaming cards and they're willing to pay that much money for gaming cards, then they'll sell. And like I said, pre-sales pretty much sold out. A lot of people said, oh, what if they only had 10 cards? These guys don't make no 10 cards. If you know anything about PC industry, they have to order a fucking shit ton of these cards right out of the gate to get them manufactured at a price they can afford. They don't walk in and go, okay, hey, you know what, check it out, man, we want to do a pre-sale. Um, can you whip out like, you know, 20, 30 cards for us? Thanks, bro. It's not like that. These guys are buying thousands upon thousands upon thousands of cards so that the people can make these cards for them, get them to market and sell them. So <laughs> it's all about money at the end of the day. AMD is exactly the same. 
I know the AMD fans hate to hear that they get all mad, but AMD is the same thing. They do their own shady stuff. AMD is usually just guilty of super duper hype. You know, they pretty much take a lemon and say, hey, it's a super limit. It'll supercharge your life. And that's pretty much my only really thing with AMD is there's just too much hype around it. <laughs> you always hear that we're going to beat them next time. We're going to drive them to their grave. And yet, I really don't see it happen that often. So there you go, folks. Kind of a weird, kind of, you know, kind of off the strange video, but I just started thinking today about, I started watching these videos about, everybody's just making a video about, you know, how RTX is basically the devil. You know, it's like, oh my God, NVIDIA is the devil with RTX. And really, they've already sold their cards. When they come to market, they're going to sell. And for us as gamers, it sucks. But think about it. If miners buy all their damn cards, all NVIDIA is going to do is kick back and say, Can I see my account number, please? Thank you.